Hi, this video is going to show you how you can download or save uh, basically replays of live events that aired on Fox channels like regular Fox, FS1, FS2, um, or even BTN as well. Okay, so I have, by the way, I have other videos if you haven't seen them showing you how to download slash save, uh, you know, events airing on Fox channels, um, you know, basically like recording them, saving them live, uh, or also downloading um, or saving both replays and live events from ESPN channels as well uh, using Streamlink um, or also YouTube DL. So please check out those other videos um, if you're interested in learning how to, you know, record or whatever with uh, different programs and so on. But this one's going to focus on downloading Fox uh, aired events after the fact and it's going to use uh, Streamlink to do that. So just a couple things before I get started. Um, I have a browser window open and I've already navigated to the page where um, <clears throat> the live, you can watch like the live TV, TV channels in a web browser. So like I've got, you know, Fox, I've got FS1, uh, you know, FS2, scroll down, there's, you know, Big Ten Network and, you know, whatever other channels are included in my streaming uh, service. So I've got that open. I'm also in that browser, I'm going to go to more tools and web developer tools because I need to use this to get the M3U8 uh, basically link which I will use in the Streamlink command in order to start the downloading of the program. Okay, I also have uh, the following things open. I have a command prompt and the way you get to that is just go to the Windows button in like, you know, win, uh, Windows 7 or Windows 10 you know, click that and then you can either uh, go to run and type CMD or you can just type CMD and hit enter and then it should bring up the command prompt. And I've navigated to the directory where Streamlink uh, is installed. The default installed directory for most people is going to be program files x86, you know, slash Streamlink and then um, the executable is actually then in, in the BIN uh, subdirectory under Streamlink. So I've already navigated there and that's all set up ready to go. I also have a text file open which has the Streamlink command already set up and it also has an FFmpeg command set up as well because that's what I'm going to use after the file is done downloading just to convert it from a TS or transport stream to an MKV file which is just usually a little easier to watch um, in VLC player or you know, whatever other program you want to use. Okay, also, I'm going to change one thing here just because there's actually a, a version of the file, 720p underscore alt 2, that is actually usually a little bit higher bit rate than just the 720p version, even though for some reason it's set up in the back end that the 720p one is the best or highest quality. It's not actually the case. So I'm just going to change that. Okay, we all save that. All right. So to download an event after the fact, you need to grab the specific unique URL or web address of the event, and you can only do that at the time the event is airing live. And so what I mean by that is, so let's say, let's see what's on FS2. Okay. So I clicked on FS Fox Sports 2. It's airing a uh, soccer okay match here, right? Now, unfortunately, it looks like for this one, oh there, now it's showing up. Okay. So if I wanted to start recording this live from, you know, the point that it is, we I could just use Streamlink and I could grab, you know, I could type the M3U8 URL in here and I would grab that and then I paste it into my Streamlink command and run it, which we're going to do, you know, in a little bit in this video. But it would start from this point in the match, you know, like 16 minutes, whatever, into it. However, if you want to record the entire thing, you know, after the fact, to get that unique URL, what you have to do is click on the restart option here. So notice when I click restart, it, like it reloads the page, and now there's a different URL at the top. Now this URL is what I want <clears throat> in order to basically get the M3U8 file 
in order to download the event. So notice now it's fox.com slash watch slash and then a bunch of random character letters and characters, right? So I don't need the restart live FS2 after that, like I could get rid of that. And now if I wanted to download this soccer match tomorrow, two days from now, three days from now, this URL, this web address is what I would load or what I would bring up in Firefox, Chrome, whatever, and then go through the process that we're about to do here. Now, I'm not actually going to do this video with this event because, you know, it's airing live. It just started, so it's not really going to um, work for the intended purposes of downloading, you know, a replay of an event after the fact. Instead, I'm going to use a URL that I already grabbed from last Saturday of a college football game and show you that you can still access that and grab that, download that event after the fact. Okay, but you do need to grab this URL while the event is airing live. And the only way, at least that I've found to do that, is you know to click on the restart option for the video when it's playing live. So you have to bring the event up, you know, by clicking on whatever channel and then choose restart. And then once it's restarted, then you have the specific URL for it, you know, with the fox.com slash watch slash characters rather than just the generic, you know, fox.com slash watch slash live, you know, slash channel, and then FS2 or FS1 or whatever it is. Okay, so with that being said, now I have another notepad uh, thing open, and this first URL at the top here is for a West Virginia-Kansas football game that happened last Saturday, November 27th. So I'm going to copy that and now paste that into my browser window and load that page. Okay, and you know, once it foils up here, you know, it's like college football, West Virginia at Kansas. See, it's two hours and 37 minutes. Now, okay, I already have M3U8 typed in my filter thing here, so I'm going to copy that URL. And also, you can go ahead and start it playing. And now I go back to my notepad here, and in my Streamlink command, you know, where I want the web address to go, I'm going to paste that. Then I'm going to copy this entire Streamlink command. Then I'm going to go to my command prompt, and then I'm going to paste this. In Windows 10, you can just right-click. In Windows 7, you have to right-click and then choose Paste. Then once I hit Enter, you know, the program should start running. Oh, I already have a file there, so I'll just overwrite that. So now it has started downloading and saving this event. Okay. However, the thing is, so let me get. You can see that technically it hasn't even started yet because what happened is they delayed the start of this game by 15 minutes because um, the other the previous game was possibly running over. So technically, there's 15 minutes of you know highlights and whatever to start, and then the actual game itself will will pick up. Here's the thing that uh, that's kind of annoying, uh, but just to be aware of. So if you notice, if you're looking at the download speed here, okay, it's basically like around 900 kilobytes per second to sometimes it goes over to like maybe a little more than one point something megabytes per second, you know, or maybe a little bit less, you know, there at 844 kilobytes per second. So that speed indicates that it's actually downloading this video as it's playing. Um, in other words, it's kind of like downloading the video as if you were downloading a live event, which means that I'm going to have to let this run for the entirety of the event for all, you know, two hours and 37 minutes. So it's going to take a while to download. It's not like downloading events from, say, an ESPN uh, replay where, you know, it just starts downloading the event as fast as your internet is capable. You know, usually like, it's around up where like 9, 10, 11, you know, whatever megabits uh, per second. So this is going to take a while to download. So I'm going to let it run. Um, obviously not going to record the whole thing, but I'm going to come back after the download is done and then convert it into the MKV file using FFmpeg. And then after that, just play it to show you that it did not it did download the entire game um, and everything uh you know, everything plays and uh, works out as normal. Okay, it's now uh, several hours later from when I, uh, you know, 
did the initial, uh, recorded the first part of this video. And so it looks like with this event, it was actually just recording or saving it kind of in real time, uh, not uh, downloading it as you know quickly as possible like it does with the ESPN events so I let it run for a little over four hours just to make sure you know it captured the entire event because I knew that the game started you know 15 minutes late at 7 15 p.m. Eastern time and then I just ended uh, basically the stream or my recording by hitting control C like two or three times okay and that's what ended it and that's what got me um, you know back out to the command prompt, you know, to the directory I was just in. So the next thing I'm going to do now is just use FFmpeg to go ahead and convert this to an MKV file, and then after that, I'll just play the file, confirm that the video and audio is working, and that you know will be the end of the video. So I'm just going to have to navigate to the directory where FFmpeg is located. Uh, this is the default, you know, if you install Streamlink and then I'll paste to that command. Now it's going to take a little while to do this because like I said the file recorded was a little over four hours long. So I'll just let this run and then like I said after that, I'll trim out some of this time in the video and don't worry about those errors. That happens basically when the commercials come up and uh, the basically the height and width like during the commercial breaks is different than the actual um, event itself. But it'll still play fine. It'll still, you know, look fine when you go to watch it. Okay, so now the FFmpeg process is done. So I'm going to go to the directory where the file is located and I'm going to bring the file up the MKV file that I just created okay so now I'll bring it on the screen here so it's visible just one second okay so now you see it starts off you know with like the highlights and all that kind of stuff and now I'm just going to do two things. First of all, I'm going to jump ahead in it just to show that we did get the actual game after the highlights and also I'm going to turn the sound on just to confirm that the audio is playing as it's intended to be. You should hear the audio uh, coming through now as I start to jump through the file. Sorry, I just I changed the settings there because I wanted to listen to it on my end to make sure it sounded good. So, But now as I go jump through the file, you should uh, hear the audio. And nine, after that didn't work. Not only the Hassan Haskins show, the Michigan Old Line show. Yeah, the Jayhawks at the head. Yard line. Jalen Daniels, the quarterback. Amari Pesic hicks him, the running back. Well, Neil Brown said we're trying to keep the ball. Phillips, the Pac-12 here this week, that he's playing his best.
And if you notice what happens with this event, so it actually just kept recording after the WVU Kansas game ended. So that's why if you notice, you know, I ju I'm jumping around in the file here. It has the Cal uh, UCLA game, you know, basically right up next after it. So it doesn't, it didn't actually, it recorded uh, just like starting, basically it's recorded starting at like 7 o'clock Eastern on Saturday on FS1 and then it just would have, you know, I guess gone for as long as I wanted uh, to let it run. But we did get the event after the fact, I mean this is basically like, you know, six days later and the file, you know, is playing fine, it looks fine um, and everything. Okay, so just a couple uh, things that I want to mention and summarize just in the last little bit here. So again, first, you need to grab the specific URL of the event um, at the time it's playing. And the way you do that is you start the event playing on the fox.com website and then click on the restart button. That will refresh the page with the specific URL of the event in addition to that, you know, like restart FS1 or restart Fox or restart FS2 or whatever uh, channel you're on stuff uh, in the URL, but you don't need that. You only need the part uh, before that. Then once you've got that URL, you know, save that and then whatever the next day, two days later, you can go ahead, you can run Streamlink. Um, you can load that page, you can grab the M3U8 file, you can run Streamlink, you can download the file. And again, in this example, when uh, the thing loaded and when Streamlink started uh, recording, you know, from the M3U8 file, I could tell based on the download speed that it was actually like recording it live. Um, as compared to an actual like stored replay. When I downloaded this game previously, the day after it, so on Sunday uh, the 28th, um, it did actually download it as a replay. It did not download it live. I did not have to let it run for, you know, like three and a half or four hours in order to get it. Instead, uh, it downloaded it much quicker, you know, it was like, like you said, between like 9, 10, 11 uh, megabits per second. And then also once the game ended, it was just, you know, it was done. I didn't have to stop the stream manually. And then the last thing too is that when I loaded the event, when I typed in that URL, um, the first thing that I saw when the event started playing was like the intro and it showed the Kansas, you know, like marching band um, or whatever. And it only had the event. Um, it did not have the commercials, you know, or not the commercials, but did not have the um, uh, the highlight show, you know, beforehand. And it also had halftime taken out. Uh, halftime was also included, but all the commercials were removed as well. So I don't know why in this example when I went to look at today that didn't happen and it recorded just as a live event with all the commercials and you know everything starting as if it was seven o'clock. Um, but that is something you can come across and in that case you know it's a lot quicker to download it and you know you don't have to worry about taking out the commercials or skipping the commercials in it as well. So if you have any questions also Please uh, do not leave a comment on the videos because for some reason YouTube is not posting the comments on my videos. Instead, just send me an email, realbbbb0 at gmail.com. Okay? So again, if you have questions or comments or any of these, send me an email. Don't post a comment on the YouTube page because they I get the notification about it, but then I go to click reply and it's not there and I can't respond to it directly.